Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed with you. This is lesson 23 in how to program using Haskell programming language. Now, we're in number 23 because like what happened uh, last time, we are uh, in the book, we are numbered as uh, 21 for the intermediate level in Haskell that we just passed and we had the modules in 22. Now we're on to 23 for the indentation, okay? Now, it's just about the rules of indentation and how to group number of... Uh, lines together okay a number of uh, Haskell uh, statements uh, together to make uh, them for example all belong under the then uh, of the if statement or the else of the if statement you know or everything underneath the do or the let you know how you want to make them all as one package with for uh, any of the previous commands okay or the case or the function that you want to uh, define okay Basically, it's more likely you see it in the uh, definition of the function because, you know, the function is not usually just one line. Uh, it can be um, many lines, okay? And there's also the where uh, keyword, okay? Now, um, now this is acceptable way of uh, putting the x equals a and x and y equals b, okay, under the let. So you're defining with one let keyword Okay, a number of variables, okay? Now, uh, this is what's right and wrong in defining uh, things using let, okay? And it's not just let, you can uh, do it with a do, with a, a where, with a f, with everything, you know? So just where you put those uh, number of lines which are uh, under the same group, okay? That belong to, the, to their starting keyword, okay? And the starting keyword, I mean the word similar to let. Okay, so this is wrong, as you see. And I thought, uh, I understand that, that you're reading, but just understand that this is wrong. Okay, you have to put it if you start with the let and the x equals a on the same line. Okay, you have to put them all aligned. Okay, like this. You okay, see the x is with the y. Okay, at the same margin. Okay at the same aligned margin okay so and this is wrong even if there is just a sim single space here okay so be careful okay and here if you look we see all the cases okay where it's possible that you can uh, write uh, correctly okay so uh, this is do for example you are using do do okay so uh, foo and bar and baz all are uh, Haskell statements. Okay, so those all belong to uh, to do. Okay, uh, they are uh, under the keyword do. Okay, this is also acceptable, and I always prefer this because this is easy. Okay, easy to follow. Okay, you, everything is uh, aligned. You know where everything uh, sits. Okay, and this is also where x equals a, y equals b. Okay, this is also aligned. Now, also with the case of, you can put the P pointer uh, foo, you can put it here, but uh, because uh, you might have also a function that's uh, with a, like a big number of uh, variable names, okay, you can, it's better you can, uh, to make a, like a new line and uh, add some spacing underneath the case, okay? So this is uh, correct. But I always prefer just to put it here, okay? Similar to the uh, do here, okay? And the let, the quiz, uh, so, okay? Uh, it's easy to follow, easy not to make mistakes, okay? So, and see, this is the functions, the same thing, okay? So you do for you can do it the same way, so things will go like, follow my mouse pointer, see? It will go like, uh, like the steps of the stair, okay? And uh, here, another way, this is also acceptable, okay? This is also acceptable, okay? So, uh, this is one way of uh, writing uh, using indentation. Now, the other way is, using the C++ or C or Java's way, using the uh, uh, 
uh, curl braces, okay? And I prefer it because it gives you more uh, freedom in writing, okay? But you have to understand that each statement must end with a semicolon, even with the let here. See, you have to consider it inside the do. And uh, although it has a group of uh, statements, okay, you have to finish it with a semicolon. Just to consider this completely, okay, or fully as one single statement with respect to the do, okay? Because look here with me, like, you guys start with the let, you open a brace, then this is a statement, you finish it with a semicolon, this is a single statement. This is another statement, and also you finish it with a semicolon. So inside the do, okay, let also itself must end with a semicolon. Cool? So this is by example how you uh, should write uh, correctly in uh, Haskell. Okay? And that's all. Thanks for watching. Please uh, click your uh, subscribe buttons okay, just to um, be able to follow, uh, follow me and get the updates and the likes and the ads. Click them, watch them. They are all for your benefit. Thanks for watching.